Hey guys, welcome. Star Citizen Alpha 4.6 is already in the Wave 1 PTU, and one thing I really want to find out is whether there are any engineering change, which I didn't read anything major in the latest patch note. And I've also checked the change lock on the SP viewer. Nothing changed regarding ship armor, components, or ship weapons. But that doesn't mean there won't be any change later down the road during this patch cycle. So in this video, let's just do a quick ship damage and engineering test, both against player ships and against NPC ships. See if there's any change that CIG didn't tell us about. First, let's start with some player ships. This is a great start. Oh wow! This is something new, I've never seen this before. Like you can spawn two ships together on the pad. And the ship is not getting purple yet, oh! Yeah, it's a great start of this video. Alright, the first test, we're gonna be using the Medical Terrapin and the Wolf 21. The Medical Terrapin is gonna get shot at by the Wolf 21 with the Ballistics. Both the Terrapin and the Terrapin Medic has been updated with the latest LAMP system. So if I click that button, you can see we have the Night Vision. It's not really a Night Vision, but Light Amplification. So it looks like this, pretty nice. The hangar is very bright here. If you go into the outside, it's gonna look a lot better. Okay, now I'm gonna be monitoring my component health while getting shot at by the Wolf 21 fire. Shields. Not taking any component damage yet. Armor is gone. Taking hull damage. One of my components has been damaged by just a little bit. It's the quantum drive. And certain parts. Oh! Something happened. Power plant failure. Okay, let's go do some repair. Now, another thing that's changed in the 4.6 is that uh, for every ship storage, if you open it, you can see the Cambio SRT canister has been added to it as well. In the current light patch, we only have the fuse and the Cambio light SRT. But in the 4.6 PTU, the big Cambio SRT canister has been added. This is going to be very convenient. but. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use the small Cambio SRT. And you can also see the sink right now is leaking water. Where does that water come from? Okay, let's repair the power plant to 100% health. I'm now checking the engineering terminal. So you can see my hull is at 20%, and my power plant health just went from 100 straight to zero and let's see my shield health is 98.9 .9. quantum drive health 99.4 another shield is 100 percent and cooler is 100 percent radar is also 100 percent my power plant also 100 percent so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to repair the hull integrity now two percent 3%. Okay. Now let's check the engineering terminal. My hull house is 22% now. And now I'm going to shoot at the ship again. Fire. 21%. 20%. Oh. The hull house did not go to zero. And now my power plant house just went from 100 straight to zero. I did not shoot at the power plant. I just simply shoot at the nose of the ship. Wow. Is that true for every single ship now? Now repair the power plant to 100% health. There we go. And now I am not going to repair the hull. So the hull will start from 20% left. I'm going to be shooting at the ship again. Fire. Oh! What? 
I just simply fired a few shots. Not power plant failure again? What is going on here? Something is not right or something has been changed. So let's see, 20% hull integrity right now. Fire. Okay, there we go. 50%, 13, 21. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And once it reaches zero, power plant failure again. And then power plant health went from 100 straight to zero. Next ship, let's test on the Paladin. I'm just gonna turn off the shield. Shields offline. Right now, armor and hull is at 100%. I'm gonna start shooting. I'm gonna avoid components. Only gonna be shooting at the hull of the ship. Fire. Now it's taking down armor. Armor is gone. Now taking hull damage. 50%. 40. 30. And now 20. Oh, I bypassed 20%. And the health of my power plant did not go to zero. And now at 0% hull health, my power plant went to zero. So the medical terrapin, the power plant, it might be just an exception. Something was not right here. Now let's try the A1 Spirit. The A1 Spirit engineering terminal is hidden right here. Okay, I'm gonna start firing. Damaging the armor really quick. 0% and damaging the hull. I'm gonna try to avoid component damage. Oh, power plant failure. I did not hurt the power plant and I don't think the hull health went to zero. So something is not right. Okay, let's repair the power plant. Power plant repair to 100% and for the A1 or the C1 spirit, you can find those canisters in this storage area. So I've got more canisters take them okay my hull health is at 53 percent and my bullet did not hurt the power plant but somehow the power plant the house went from 100 to zero and this happened on the medical terrapin but did not happen on the paladin so i wonder if this is something random or there is a chance not exactly sure what happened okay i'm gonna keep shooting at the a1 spirit fire our house is going down quickly. 20%, 18. Oh! Yeah, somehow my power plant went down again. You can see the house went from 100 to 0. Before our house reached 0. So even for such a small ship, engineering is needed. Especially if you're doing it in combat. Our house is 16%, but my power plant went down twice. Okay, fire again. Seven, five, oh. And once the hull house reaches zero, the power plant went down one more time. Let's test this on one more ship. This is the Guardian MX, and this is the new paint from the monthly bundle. CIG has changed the name from Patch Bundle to Monthly Bundle. So are we expecting the Warbound Bundles every single month? And this is that paint. Take a quick look. Just the bottom. The engine and to the top. Pretty nice. All right, let's continue with our test. No. Armor is going down quickly. Wow, look at that. It's really quickly. And I am not taking any hull damage at all. I'm shooting at the right wing of the MX, but I'm not taking any hull damage. I'm gonna switch into... Oh! One of the wing has been completely destroyed, but 
How come I'm not taking any hull damage? That's not right. Okay, I'm gonna switch into shooting at the nose of the ship. And now I'm taking hull damage. And now taking damage quickly. Oh, power plant failure already. Okay, 100%. And okay, so the power plant got damaged is because my hull house went to zero for this ship. So I don't know if this is new in this patch or this is something in the 4.5 that we haven't discovered, or at least I haven't discovered. That uh, sometimes before your hull house goes to zero, your power plant house goes from 100 to zero straight. And this ship is in a pretty bad shape. And now let's test this against some of the NPC ships because there is some changes when you do combat with NPC ships in the 4.6 PTU. I am flying a Hornet F7A Mark II and the ship already have the lamp system. And now the changes that I noticed uh, for the NPC ships is that uh, the NPC ships do not explode that easily. So let's test uh, this freelancer. Shield is down. Now I'm doing hull damage to the ship. Wave clear. Here comes the next. And when it says wave clear, it means this ship is already considered dead. But it's not dead yet because it's not exploded. But you can see that the IR was dropping all the way to zero. Okay, let's finish all these ships first. Okay, you can see the IR of the Firebird is going down really quickly, which means the Firebird is considered soft dust. Now, attacking the Vanguard. Son of a Whoa, that's scary. IR of the Vanguard is still 7.1k. When the IR is going down, which means the power plant is dead. Now, its power plant is dead. You see the IR is dropping really quickly to getting to zero and now the ship just simply stopped that's it so attack this ship here fire some missiles Nicely done, rookie. and I wish more of my students mission accomplished Next you can see that freelancer the IR is going down to zero but the ship has not been exploded yet but it's considered dead oh I think the Vanguard just went to core critical. The Vanguard just exploded afterwards. So let's go to the freelancer really quick. Okay, let's open the back ramp. I really like this because this way you can easily loot the NPC ships. Hopefully the ship is not core critical. Oh, the pilot's already dead. Let's see. Oh, core critical. Now, let's go repair the... I got 40 seconds. Oh, shoot. I can't open. I can't open those things. If you want to loot it, you gotta have to be really quick to get on board, repair the power plant before it go explode. Does every NPC ship go core critical like this? And that set exploded. Alright, let's try different ships so for this Pisces it's still flying and now you can see the IR dropped really quickly the Pisces is now power plant dead now the question is does every single NPC ship go core critical or not so we'll see if this Pisces explodes And that 100i is also disabled. Wow, the Pisces just exploded in front of my eyes. Yes, that Pisces went core critical. 
And now let's see the 100 eye. Let's open the door. It's gonna be risky. Let's see if it's core critical or not. Into pilot seat. Oh no, I'm dead. Three seconds. One. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> this ship also wasn't core critical. So it looks like all the NPC ships right now in the 4.6, they will go core critical, and then explode.